Oh man, so this Pokemon week has been uh, pretty wild to say the least. Um, between Worlds Drama, Worlds Product Scalping, and new super exciting cards revealed, uh, there's actually a lot of content to talk about this week. So I think this week, instead of doing openings, we're going to talk about some of the content. And I think I want to start off with probably what's filling up my feed the most is this world drama. Um, if you guys don't know, Pokemon Worlds was happening this past weekend. And there was some drama that kind of occurred. And I'm going to show you guys the video of what I'm referring to right now. So as you can see here, we're watching one of the live streams. And this gentleman here, known as Ian, he decides to make a gesture while, I guess the young kids call it, mewing. Now, for those of you who exist in this world, you probably are immediately assuming what that gesture might be. Uh, that is an adult gesture. That's a gesture you might be making with friends when you wreck them at a video game. Um, it is a sexual gesture. Now... A lot of people are defending this person saying that it is indeed not a sexual gesture and it might not be. A lot of people are saying he's just doing the rolling the dice gesture. But zooming in, for some reason I have a hard time believing that it's a rolling the dice gesture as he's making this face. I don't know. Being a lifelong gamer, being somebody who's been in competitive scene of different trading cards and video games, this does not feel like I'm just imitating rolling the dice and I'm going to make this face doing so at some friends. It feels like it's something else. Once again, I'm going to play it one more time for you guys so that way you can make your own opinion because obviously um, it is very controversial. Some people believe that he was making an obscene gesture and Pokemon had the right to cause him to lose. Uh, but some people are saying it's not that bad and he shouldn't have been costed out of, I think it was the top four. So once again... One more time watching that, you guys kind of get an idea of where we're at. The thing is, is once again, he's not rolling any dice. So the rolling the dice gesture is still a gesture. And it makes sense that like Pokemon might take action just based on sportsmanship. But on top of that, Pokemon's a company that really tries to push this idea of being rated G, right? We're kid friendly. Everything that we do is kid friendly. Think about it. There was a content creator who called herself um i might be wrong on this but i think it was like pokey princess or something like that who did adult content but because she had the name pokey in her name pokemon sent a cease and desist just because they're so protective of their image and what kid or what they believe kids might be um exposed to based on their content they want to make sure that when kids look up pokemon they get the most g-rated content possible so a lot of players are upset about this. Some players are saying it's well deserved. Some players are saying it's not deserved at all, that he wasn't doing any obscene gesture and that Pokemon shouldn't have enforced such a harsh punishment. One person that's making that argument is this guy right here, this Relic Hunter guy. And I want you to point, uh, point off that he says that this other player made a jerk off motion and also made a handgun motion. Now. I want y'all to watch this clip and tell me what you think. If these two motions exist in your mind. So I want to pause right there on that point. So this is a, this is what I'm going to call an Americanized argument that just pointing your finger like that, where your thumb is slightly up instead of your thumb being inside that being a gun. That's like an American point of view, in my opinion. Like, I point at people like this all the time. If you go back and watch any of my old content that I made years ago, I used to do this doing, like, finger pointing at people. Like, just the thumbs up always being up instead of being inside like that. Boom, boom, boom. So, to me, this is him pointing at somebody. I think he's pointing at somebody in the crowd. Just probably pointing them out. Now, going back to that motion, he's overhanded doing this. I don't know if you guys have ever been to a casino. I don't know if most, most of you are old enough to do the casino, but when you're rolling your dice, getting ready to throw them, a lot of times you might have them up here. You might blow on them and throw your dice down. When you're playing Monopoly, you throw your dice down, right? This is not the same motion as Ian made. 
once again, going back to this motion here, totally different in terms of like what they're implying. Now, give or take, he could also have just been pretending to roll the dice. Once again, I'm not saying for certain that that's what he did, but just from a perception from somebody, an outsider looking in, that is what he was doing. That is the way we perceive it just from an outsider looking in. And you got to think the Pokemon um, team and judges have to look at it as the outsider looking in as well. What are other people perceiving this as? Once again, this is not a sexual motion and this is not a gun. So this dude right here, I think he's a complete fucking idiot, but that's my opinion. But I do think that this was a much more inappropriate gesture. The positioning of his hand, the centering of his hand around his body, and then the face that he makes, just it automatically screams to me that he 100% was making an inappropriate gesture. But that is just what I'm perceiving as a viewer of the stream. This was me watching the stream, watching the content, and just kind of seeing things. Now, give or take, everybody might have their own opinion, right? Everybody might have their own take. Whether or not you agree or disagree with my opinion, let me know down in the comment section below. Once again, it is a strange situation overall because it did cost him a game loss and I believe this took him out of being in the top four, which is a pretty significant game loss to get for a gesture. But at the same time, I seen an argument online. I want to say it was Opossum Mud that made it that these players being in that top position probably are very familiar with what is and what isn't okay. And that this could have just been an instinct thing. Maybe he got a little bit overconfident. Maybe he did something. Maybe it's just an instinct thing. Maybe he thought he was playing around with friends and just instinct, right? Because like I said, me being a gamer, me and my friends do stupid shit like this all the time. So it makes sense that somebody would do this maybe by accident. So getting a game loss in a significant part of the tournament could be very devastating for something that might have been just accidental. But at the same time, you also got to think about Pokemon as an entity and what Pokemon strives for. I could see if um, if Disney's Lorcana's tournament had this happen. I could see Lorcana doing the same thing because that is what happened. Uh, that is uh, that is what Disney strives for. They want that G-rated image when it comes to their company. As much as I guess you can argue that Disney isn't G-rated in a lot of ways, they strive for that image in a lot of ways. And I could see Ravensburger enforcing rules like this too. So it's it's just a Pokemon decision. And the judges abided by what's set forth by Pokemon's rules. And once again, just an outside perception looking in, that is what you can perceive. Once again, it may not have been his intention, but his body positioning, the face he's making compared to this guy right here, gives me the instinct that he was doing a much more lewd gesture and a much more insulting, unsportsmanlike gesture than this player right here, um, which I guess his name is Isaiah. So... That is just the way I'm looking at it. Once again, I'm not somebody who's at the tournament. I don't play the turn uh, the card game anymore. I just observe it as just somebody who watches the streams and watches like live gameplay. So for those of you that play, for those of you that collect, let me know down in the comment section below what you think about this incident. Did you agree with the game loss, the match loss? Did you uh, Do you disagree? Do you think Ian got unfairly treated? Do you think that Isaiah should have also been punished the same way? I'd love to know your uh, opinions and thoughts down below. And remember, guys, as always, stay awesome.